To access the higher grades on this course, you have to understand validation and be able to use it. Validation is simply protecting our spreadsheet or our data so that only valid or allowed data is able to be entered. If it matches the rule, then it's OK. If not, then we're going to get an error message. Now, you can see in the city code column, there's only a few cities that this tour is going to. Birmingham, Glasgow, London, Manchester, Newcastle. Anything else isn't permitted. We can't put Coventry in there, for example, if it's not one of the stops on the tour. So we're going to add some validation to here to make sure that only valid cities can be added to the list. So we go to the Data tab and there is a button here that says Data Validation. And when I click on that, I get this pop-up. What should I allow? Any value? Any whole number? Decimal? I'm going to use the List option for this. And I can type in a list of options. So it can be BRM, it can be GLS, it can be LDN, MCR, and MWC. It's important that these already match what is there and I've just put commas in between each of the options. Ignore blank means that it's okay to write nothing especially if we've got empty rows that's important and in cell drop down you'll see in a moment lets you put in um, a drop down so you can pick from the list and you know what it's supposed to be. We can have an input message which gives, a, gives you a warning when you click on the cell I'm not going to do that now an error alert if you type it in wrong you can put a custom message. That's really handy to make it simple for people that aren't expecting an error to pop up. I'm not going to do that now, but you could on your spread spreadsheet. If I press OK, you can see I've already got on this cell a little drop down. And I can choose from the list of options. If I try to type in COV and press Enter, it gives me a nasty warning message. I can't do that. So I'm going to retry and I'm going to change that back to London and everything will be fine. You can add validation to your spreadsheet using data and then data validation filling out all of the options on there to make sure that your city codes have the drop down and can only be one of the options on the list.